Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today our mini lesson is on number lines and opposites. Number lines work like this. You've got a line with numbers on it. Each of these upright lines represents a number. So this is negative 5, this is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. And then after 0, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's the way number lines work. They start basically at 0, and you get negative numbers going this way, and they are increasing in, in the value of the actual number, but they are decreasing in value. Okay, so they are decreasing. And this way, if you go in that direction, you'll be increasing. All right, so let's look at some of these points we have on here. To name the points. This is pretty straightforward, but I just want to make sure that we're getting this. The dot right here on this line represents negative 3. All right? So dot number 1, negative 3. Dot number 2 would be the next one if we're moving from right to left, so the dot right in the middle, and that represents the value of positive 2. And dot number 3 would then represent the value of positive 5. Okay, so that's 2, that's 5, that's negative 3. This is how number lines work, generally speaking. Okay, we're going to use number lines to do different things, but first we have to understand what number lines are and the basics on what points of a number line. So. For our next practice, we are going to actually put our own dots on number lines. And to do that, we've got three points, 3, negative 1, negative 2. And I'm going to put those points on this number line. First point, 3. I'm going to bring out my trusty marker, and I'll put a dot in black. That seems like a good color. And I'm going to put a dot at the point 3. All right? See where 3 represents a line? It's labeled right there. If it weren't labeled, like it was labeled 1 and 5, maybe, then you'd have to count 1, 2, 3, and put a dot there. Okay? But generally speaking, they're going to be labeled, so we just need to know how to read the numbers and identify that with the line that goes above it. The next point is negative 1. So I find negative 1 and put a dot there. Or I could start at 0 and know that I'm decreasing by 1 point. The next point is negative 2, so I'm decreasing by 2 points from 0. Negative 1, negative 2, that'll be my third dot right there. All right, so that's how number lines work, and that's the type of questions that you may see about number lines. First one, you'll be given dots and asked to identify them. The second type, you may be given a number and asked to actually plot it on the number line. Now, when we talk about number lines, let me just go back real quick here. Remember how I said that we start at the 0 and we go increasing or decreasing? Well, opposites are like the same value or the same distance from the 0. So we have, like if you were to draw a line straight up and down, the points that are opposite are like 1 and negative 1, 2 and negative 2. 3 and negative 3. You see that? Using a number line, you can see opposites pretty well because they're on opposite, they're an equal distance from 0. Okay? So, for example, the opposite of 3 is negative 3. It's easy to look at it like this and understand it. I just like using the number line to illustrate that as well. So the opposite of these numbers would be as follows. The opposite of 2 would be negative 2. The opposite of negative 3 would be a positive 3. The opposite of 4 would be negative 4. And then I threw in one that's a variable here. What's the opposite of x? Okay, remember, x just represents any number. So the opposite of x is negative whatever that x is. Okay? So that's the opposite of x is negative x. Okay, essentially, you're changing the signs that they have here. Okay, and the reason we do that is because they're opposite each other. Okay, so that is our lesson on number lines and a little bit about opposites. Those are types of questions you should see on your mini lesson quiz today, your quiz today. Good luck on it, and have a wonderful day.